Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the most specialist Money Mondays podcast edition in the history of the Money Mondays. Right now, we are in the top five on almost every category. We're number 58 in the whole world of podcasts. And it's all thanks to you guys for supporting the Money Mondays. However, why is it the most special of all the time? Well, if you're watching on YouTube or if you're listening online, you should probably go watch this on YouTube. My very, very first baby girl right here, Miss Ariana Ocean, is the co-host. So she is the youngest co-host of a top five podcast in the history of podcasts. I don't think anybody's going to be able to beat it because she's only three days old. We're only going to keep her here for about three minutes just so she can do the intro. So as you guys know, here on the Money Mondays, we talk about three core topics. And she likes to wave her hands when she talks just like me. See, we talk about how to make money, how to invest money, and how to give it away to charity. We're going to do a lot of charity stuff with Ariana Ocean. She's probably going to build orphanages, build schools. We're going to do a lot of fun charity stuff. Wave your hands around. All right, so I'm going to let Ariana Ocean go. I'm going to dive in some interesting topics with you guys. Because this week, if you can notice on my hat, that stands for 100 Million Mastermind. Ariana's probably not going to make it to 100 Million Mastermind, but she hosted the Zoom call on day one, a full hour. She sat in my lap in the hospital two days ago, and we did a whole speech to the 100 Million Mastermind members. I'm going to get into that in one moment. But first, my mom's going to take her, Ariana Ocean's grandma. Say bye, everybody. We'll see you on a future podcast. The youngest co-host ever. <laughs> woo woo. All right, guys. So I'm going to dive right into these core topics about masterminds and about juggling. What do I mean by that? On the mastermind side, you can just pop it open. On the mastermind side, why are masterminds useful? Let me go through it. Why do I have so many masterminds? What is a mastermind? And why should people be attending masterminds or hosting their own masterminds? Whether they're free, cheap, affordable or expensive. Let me walk you through them. Okay. On the mastermind side, a mastermind is basically where you get three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 50, a hundred, hundreds of people together to talk about things that are business, life, personal taxes, accounting, owning restaurants, being in real estate, being in the car dealerships, being single moms, owning sports teams on all levels of life and all types of business categories all over the planet, you could have a mastermind or attend a mastermind. I'm gonna walk you through real life masterminds that I own or I'm a part of so you can get in a concept in your mind of why they're important. The main, main, main category of why they're important is the main topic why they're important is the other people. There are coaches that are there, there are instructors that are there, there are speakers that are there. There's fun things that happen that are at mastermind events. However, the other members is by far the most important part of a mastermind. Why is that? You might think to yourself, well, yeah, there might be 50 members there, but what if I'm listening to household name speaker or some famous athlete or a really big business person? Isn't that the most important part? Yes, you are going to learn nuggets from them, learn topics from them, learn things to help your business. That is important. However, typically speakers come and go. They're there for 30 minutes to an hour. You might get to network with them. You might not, depending on the type of mastermind. Once they leave, all you have there is the information and some people in the room out of the mastermind might have a connection with that speaker, right? But everyone in the mastermind is someone that you can network with to build for your life, for relationships, partnerships, joint ventures, get advice from, connections with, relationships with, throw events with. So many things happen with other mastermind members, no matter what type of mastermind you're in, whether there's five or 10 people, or there's 50, 100, or hundreds of mastermind members. Now, let me walk you through some real life masterminds, how I got into it from the cheap, affordable, expensive, and holy smokes, really expensive. So it all started 14 years ago, throwing what's called elevator nights. Elevator nights to me was like a one night mastermind where I would get together 300 to 1,000 guests, mostly entrepreneurs and investors. I've thrown that event 54 times since then. Number 55 is coming up on September 29th, will be an all women's event at Hubble Studio in downtown Los Angeles. It'll be all women's speakers and all women's, all women's mastermind for them to network together. Now, Elevator Nights is free. It's free to attend. There's no sponsors. There's no tickets for sale. There's no sales from stage. It is just a free event that I spend the money on. It costs me a couple hundred grand a year to throw it, but it's useful to me because it's my excuse to get people together to mastermind together, to network with each other. They have meetings, they have relationships, they have connections, they do deals together. Stuff happens at Elevator Nights, and it's, for me, a great excuse to get everyone together. Elevator Night is the perfect example of a mastermind that you could throw in your city anywhere on the planet because it's free. There's no barrier to entry. 
you can also do a niche mastermind, a niche event. For example, Elevator Nights typically is an investor event, an entrepreneur event. However, I've thrown niche events. I've thrown an Elevator Night Cannabis Edition, Elevator Night Cryptocurrency Edition, Elevator Night Real Estate Edition. And I've done those two, three, four, five times each for each category. Why would I do that? What allows me to build a network of people in the real estate game in Miami or in Atlanta or in New York, in Chicago, Dallas, Texas, Phoenix, Arizona, Salt Lake City. I've thrown niche versions of elevator nights in different cities where now I'm meeting hundreds of people that are in a category like real estate, cryptocurrency, etc. And you might be like, well, Dan, you have a bit of a social media following. Maybe that's how you get it. No. The people who invite other people is what happens. I might have some people that want to attend, but then other people repost my flyer. Other people share my link. They invite their friends in that category. Why does that matter? Well, you might have 400 followers, 3,000 followers, 10,000, hundreds of thousands, whatever the number is. You don't need that many people to cause the butterfly effect, to cause the network effect. Meaning you've got 400 followers and 12 of them want to come to your event, but they're all in the real estate category. Guess what they know? Other people in the real estate category. So they all of a sudden invite three or four friends. They start posting about it in your event that you only invited 12 people to because out of your 400, only 12 are in the real estate game. Those 12 people all of a sudden become 30 or 40 and be, could become 50 to 100 or 200 people at your real estate event. But wait, your second event and your third event and your fourth event, you might end up with hundreds of people in the real estate game just from your initial 12. That's how the butterfly effect and the network effect work because it's sheer math. Your 12 people are in the real estate game, they're gonna know two, three, four people in the game. Their followers, maybe they have a small following or medium sized following, are typically gonna be in the real estate game as well. So you see what's going on here? You, with 400 followers that have 12 people in the real estate game, now all of a sudden get dozens of people and maybe hundreds of people to know about you, know about your real estate events, and start to network, start to build your entire personal brand in the real estate game just from throwing a couple events that are free free to attend, free to hang out. They can pay for their own drinks, pay for their own food, etc. But you are the catalyst. It elevates you. It edifies you because you're the one hosting this real estate meetup in this example. That is the power of mastermind. Your 12 people that you convinced to come to your real estate event become dozens of people in the real estate game, which become hundreds. And now you've built up this powerful network in the real estate game just from the initial 12. Now, that math I'm saying you can extrapolate it however you want. You might have 4,000, you might have 400,000. The math is the same. The concept is the same, that you only need a small percentage to be in your category of cryptocurrency, real estate, restaurants, whatever that category is that you like. And by you getting those initial people to attend, that network effect will happen and you'll get other people recommended to you. You're going to get your flyer posted about you and none of it costs you anything. That is the power of masterminds and events. So the Elevator Nights is the free event, okay? Next, affordable event. Well, we have what's called Aspire Tour. You guys have seen me post about Aspire Tour often. Aspire Tour is founded by Andrew Cordo and Eddie Wilson. I stepped in half a year later to help them scale the business because they already had such a great, strong brand. And I just started adding in more celebrities, more athletes, some cool people to build the brand up. And by default, because there's now more celebrities, more athletes, more business speakers, the brand started to grow. They already had a very strong brand that had over a thousand people attending their events, but now it's been evolving to 2000, 3000, 4000, and just recently Madison Square Garden. August 8th, Aspire Tour will be in Houston, Texas. September 5th, Aspire Tour will be in Phoenix, Arizona. October 23rd, Aspire Tour will be in Chicago. Now, every three or four weeks, you're seeing these Aspire Tours, but those are affordable tickets. 49 bucks, 99 bucks, 200, 300 bucks. There are some expensive diamond tickets that are like 1,000, 1,500 for more of a VIP experience, but the thousands of people for the most part are able to get in for around 100, 200 bucks to attend a big speaking event to learn from Marcus Limonis and Damon John, A-Rod, Sarah Blakely, Kevin Hart, all these cool people. Now, as I mentioned earlier, learning from those people is very useful and you will get nuggets and information that are useful to you and to inspire you and hopefully improve your business. But... What did I also say? There's thousands of people at an Aspire Tour that you can now network with. Typically, masterminds are going to not be more than a few hundred people because that's a more curated, smaller environment. However, people that paid for a ticket, 
to go to a business conference like Aspire Tour have proven to you that they are in a similar category or in a similar stage of their life. They want to be better in their business world. And so by them being in the room during those breaks, during those lunches, etc., you should be networking with people because they've already proven to you as a filter that they want to do something in this category. They want to have a better life. They want to be in business. And so you can now network people at an affordable event like Aspire Tour. Also similar concept, you could host your own event. That's 50 bucks, 100 bucks, 200 bucks, 500 bucks, etc. I typically recommend to throw free events first to practice, gain some following, you know, get the execution right of your event. And then if you'd want to charge, which is optional, you could charge a nominal fee. And then later, obviously we'll get to high-end masterminds. Okay, the next level is you went from free to cheap to now affordable masterminds. Affordable masterminds are things that are a thousand bucks, five thousand, ten thousand. When I say affordable, obviously it's based on your financial level, things that are going on in your world. Some people might think ten thousand is a huge outreach. Some people think ten thousand is a very small number. So as I say these generalized terms, just keep in mind whatever's affordable to you and into your financial situation at this moment. That will change over time. The reason you listen to podcasts like the Money Mondays is to learn about money, talk about accounting, talk about salaries, finance, investing, taxes. So you can become a more efficient ninja in the money game, in the money world. And so those of you listening that might think that $5,000, $10,000 is expensive, hopefully three months from now, six months from now, a year from now, five years from now, et cetera, $10,000 will sound like nothing to you because you're going to learn all these tricks of the game that you can take what you're learning to invest into businesses, invest into yourself, invest into real estate, invest in cryptocurrency, invest in the stock market, et cetera. Okay. An affordable mastermind, I'm going to walk you through a couple examples. The guys from Aspire Tour, Andrew Cordo and Eddie Wilson, also created what's called the Money Is Mastermind. Money Is Mastermind has over 800 members at $15,000. The $15,000 number might sound high to some people or low to others, but it's based on a one-year program where you get to go to multiple weekends. Most masterminds are around three weekends a year where people meet up and really network. Also, most masterminds, every week or every month have Zoom calls and they typically have like a Facebook group, a Telegram chat, a WhatsApp chat, etc. Why is that important? Well, a mastermind one-off weekend that you could pay for, you know, 500 bucks, 1000 bucks, 5 grand for like a one-off weekend. Those are powerful and you can meet a lot of people and you can build a lot of relationships. But imagine being a part of a mastermind for a whole year. You're networking for a whole year, building more relationships, more experiences. You're traveling to different events. You're spending three weekends on average with a bunch of people that are already in the game. And if they can afford to be in, let's call it a five, ten, fifteen thousand dollar mastermind, you now know that they are interesting ca characters for you to network with and build your business, build your brand, build your relationships, etc. There's also what's called the Level Up Mastermind. Level Up Mastermind is a real estate mastermind, also fifteen thousand dollars. And that one is focused on investing in real estate. Why is that important? If you're in the real estate game, you want to network with other people in the real estate game because that's how you get deals. That's how you get partnerships. That's how a lot of things happen. The next level we have is Operation Black Site. Operation Black Site actually takes he place here at the ranch. As you guys know, we're in an RV motorhome. That's how we record the Money Mondays in an RV motorhome. Operation Black Site, you can either pay $20,000 for the year to go to three weekends and be a part of all the, you know, the monthly calls and interacting with Navy SEALs, UFC fighters, and everybody in between. Or you can pay $6,000 for a one-off weekend. During the one-off weekend, you're going to network with 50 to 100 people that are also obviously wanting to be a part of this military boot camp. They're going to learn about fighting, learn about shooting, learn how to escape, learn how to do like, you know, fixing if there's a cut and something's happening, you got to, oh my God. Those are the type of situations you need to learn about because the oh my God situations happen. People do bleed. People do get into fist fights. People do, sadly, people have gotten stabbed recently. It's been a lot of stabbings happening in New York and in London. It's gone very, very viral, which I hate, hate, hate to use that word when it comes to something like that. There's been a lot of situations in London and New York recently um, where stabbings have been happening. What would you do if someone in your circle or, so, or a stranger was all of a sudden in that situation where they got stabbed by someone on a moped? That's what's been happening and it's going rampant and I hate talking about it, but it's the reality of it and we have to have blunt discussions. The reason we created Operation Black Site four years ago for these boot camp weekends is for people to learn, well, what can they do to create a tourniquet if someone gets cut? What can they do to stop the bleeding if someone 
What can they do if someone is choking? What can they do if someone's tied up or you get tied up, God forbid? How do you escape these situations? How do you deal with fight environments? How do you deal with things that are going on in our crazy world? Operation Black Site, you can go visit operationblacksite.com. The reason we've done it for four years and why I'm going to keep doing it for decades and decades, it's as important for people to learn how to defend themselves, how to fight, how to understand situations, and how to heal and protect. That is a different type of mastermind. However, as I mentioned, you're learning skills for a weekend in that type of environment, but then you're also networking with people that were able to afford to pay $6,000 to go to a boot camp weekend. So the other members are very useful for you to network with. Also, the instructors are guys like Michael Chandler, Tim Kennedy, Ray Cash Care, Tony Blauer, people that have got decades of experience in their category of fighting, training, etc. My co-founder of Operation Black Site, his name is Bedros Koulian. Bedros has over 600 gyms called Fit Body Bootcamp. Wouldn't it be nice to learn from and network with and talk with someone that has 600 gyms while you're also learning about fighting, shooting, and things like that? Of course. Masterminds are very useful no matter what type of category you're in. As you heard about a free event, Elevator Night, Money Is, which is a financial event, Level Up, which is real estate, Operation Black Site, etc. There's also what's called the Chairman's Club. Chairman's Club is $50,000, right? Now we're starting to get to very high ticket, expensive investments into yourself. But the Chairman's Club allows people to invest into deals before other people get to see it. And so Chairman's Club meet, same thing, they meet for three weekends a year. And there's, I think there's like 180 members or more in that group. So you can think about how many powerful people are paying $50,000 to be into this group. But they're getting shown deals. As you guys know, I have what's called Elevator Syndicate. You can visit elevatorsyndicate.com. Elevator Syndicate, I've raised $56 million over the last three years into food and beverage brands, consumer product brands. Every single deal, I raise between three and $6 million really quickly and effectively through my mastermind members and my Elevator Syndicate members. There's over 940 members of the Elevator Syndicate. I'll even give you guys the phone number. Let me get it, grab it real fast since I have it right here. Elevator Syndicate, the number you guys can text to be part of it. This is only for credit investors. It costs you nothing to join. You can text 323-417-2228. 323-417-2228. Or you could email invest at elevator.studio. Invest at elevator.studio. It's free to join, by the way, but it's meant for accredited investors. Why is that important? Those 940 members and growing in the Elevator Syndicate allow me to raise capital for these food and beverage brands. Things like Icon Meals, Cards and Coffee, Rise Beverage Group, which is also a coffee brand, but a different type of category. Everbowl, as you guys know, I've been talking about for years and years in 2018. These are types of companies, uh, Joyride Candy. Um, gosh, we've done so many of these deals where it's always that three to six million dollars. Oh, It's Skinny Pasta. It's Skinny Pasta. We did three million a couple years ago and three million more a few weeks ago. Uh, BLK Water, which you guys see me, I typically have it on the table here. BLK Water is that tall black bottle. Uh, that was also millions of dollars, like three million, four million, five million, six million dollars into these type of brands is very useful because they go hire more staff, they build their brands, and the investors that I bring in have a chance at having an exit. I say the word chance because there is risk in angel investing. However, we lower our risk because I only invest into businesses doing two to $20 million in sales. So my model is we invest three to $6 million into companies doing two to 20 million in sales. But I've been able to do $56 million doing that over the last couple of years, just at three to 6 million bucks at a time, 4 million, 5 million, 3 million, 5 million, 4 million, over and over and over with the mastermind members and the elevator syndicate members. Why? Why do people want to invest into these deals and why do they want to know about it early? Well, the number's pretty small if you think about it. Three to six million dollars isn't a large number in the grand scheme of things when it comes to venture capital. However, it's very impactful for the size businesses that I want to invest into, two to 20 million. If we were trying to throw in four million bucks into a company doing 300 million, well, wouldn't be that very important to them, right? It'd be a small number like a rounding error. But if we put four million dollars into Icon Meals, for example, and they're doing 15, 16, 17, 19, 20, 22 million dollars in sales, well, four million bucks is a big deal for them because they can pour more gasoline on the fire. So for like Rise Beverage Group, which is Rise Coffee, Cards and Coffee, which is my sports car store chain, Everbowl, which has raised a lot more money than that because they have, you know, Drew Brees, 
Jason Tatum and a lot of amazing investors in that company. Like when we bring capital to these deals, the investors have a shot at glory. If it doesn't work out, they have what's called a one-to-one -one loss ratio. So let's say someone invested 50 grand. If it does not work out, they lose 50 grand. And there's typically some type of a write-off that they can do for having that loss. If they win and it comes back 2x, 4x, 8x, 12x, 15x, etc., well, holy smokes, if you make 12x on 50 grand, that's $600,000. That's a big deal, right? And so you have what's called a one-to-one -one loss ratio, but you have an unlimited win ratio. So it can have an exit of 4x, 8x, 12x, 20x, etc. When I say unlimited, obviously it's not. Thousands of times, like Uber, that's a very rare situation where you can turn 50 grand. A friend of ours um, that did that TV show with us called Going Public. You guys can see the websites, goingpublic.com. That's the TV show I just did with a lady named Cyanist. If you look at Twitter, her name is Cyanist, C-Y-A-N-I-S-T. Well, she put in 50 grand and got back, I don't know the number, 140 million, 180 million, some number. It's an insane amount. Okay, anything over 100, anything over 5 million bucks for 50 grand is crazy, right? But her number was like 140 million or some insane number. I don't want to get it wrong. You can Google it. Um, but the point is, those are rare situations. So I'm not out here promoting like it. Yeah, invest 50 grand, you're going to make tens of millions or hundreds of millions. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is the reason I like masterminds, the reason that I like investing into angel investments and private equity companies, food and beverage brands, CPG brands, which is consumer product goods. Why do I like investing in them? My loss ratio can only be 1x. So if I put in 50 grand as that example number, I can only ever lose that amount. But when I get it right, right? Like I invested in SneakerCon and then eBay bought them holy smokes, right? When I invest in certain companies and they go public or they get acquired, wow, like you can have a huge effect when you get it right. When you get it wrong or it takes a long time, you only lose the one X. And I'm not saying 50 grand is a small amount of money. That's just an example number. You could put in a thousand bucks, five grand, five million, whatever is comfortable for you. I'm just using 50 grand as the example number. When something goes right, it can literally be life-changing. And I like investing into these food and beverage brands, consumer products, because it's companies that I can help scale. When you hear me talk about Everbowl, my first investments, they had 13 locations. Now they have 96 locations, right? So when you think about the valuation I invested in back in 2018, when they had 13 locations, it's obviously gone up a lot more when they've got 96 locations and have sold over 400 more locations and growing. And so... That investment, as you guys have been watching when I post on social media about Everbowl, which is everbowl.com, the Acai locations, you can do the math. I invested when they had 13 locations. Now they've got 96 locations and they open one new one every six days. You know how I raised the second round of capital from me and my friends for Everbowl in 2019? A mastermind. The hat I'm wearing is for 100 million masterminds. The 100 million mastermind and another mastermind that I went to that we I owned, but another mastermind right after that I went to, we raised almost $5 million for Everbowl back in 2019. Think about that. Those investors, I think back then had like 25 locations. Let's call it 20 to 30 locations back then. How well did they do when now Everbowl has 96 locations and growing? So does everything work out like that? Of course not. I lower my risk for myself and my investors by finding companies that are already doing two to 20 million revenue, by finding founders that I want to bet on, but being a part of masterminds, being a part of elevator syndicate, things like that in your city, in your town, or on social media allows you to have access. Masterminds create access because you're around people that have what's called deal flow. Other people in the room have deal flow for real estate deals, <clears throat> private investments, angel investments, stocks, et cetera, that they might know about or that they are attached to that allows you access because you're in the mastermind, you're in the group. The last mastermind I'll talk about, and we'll wrap this up, <clears throat> is 100 million mastermind experience. That is the hat I'm wearing. The 100 million mastermind experience started in 2019. It's $100,000 per person, and we sold out in just seven weeks. How did we get 100 people to pay $100,000 each in such a short time span? me and my partner back then when we created it. People want to be in a group where they now know that other people are doing over $10 million in revenue. That was what we wanted. That was the benchmark. And the instructors all either did over hundred million in sales, spent over hundred million in ads, or were seen by over hundred million people. So those instructors are like Jim Quick, Marcus Limonis, Neil Patel, a lot of interesting business people 
Matt Morgan, who you heard before, did over $200 million in uh, cannabis space. Warren Jolly was also around $200 million in paid ads. Josh Avin was around $150 million in paid ads. Like These type of instructors are there. Walter O'Brien, one of the smartest people on the planet. So many interesting characters are there to teach. right? So there's super high-level instructors. The members are all doing 10 million, 30 million, 50 million, et cetera. And so for them, here's my pitch. When you listen to $100,000, you might be like, wow, that's crazy. How could anybody pay $100,000 to join a mastermind for a year? I'll give you guys the pitch that I give them. Ready? Let's say you're doing $10 million in sales. Do you think that myself and 22 instructors and over 100 members could make you 1% or save you 1%? If I can make you 1% or save you 1%, so saving meaning taxes, efficiencies, relationships, discounts, make you, teach you how to do better ads, better sales, better relationships to help scale your business. Well, if I can make you or save you 1% out of myself, 22 instructors and 100 members, well, then it's free. You're doing 10 million, right? If you're doing 10 million sales, I need to help you by 1%. And by the way, that 1% help I give you to save money on taxes, or make better sales, or be more efficient, or save money on manufacturing, whatever that little 1% is, that doesn't go away. Next year you do 16 million, you still have the knowledge and connections to save 1%. Then you do 26 million, you still have that 1% connection. You see where I'm going? And so my whole sales pitch, and the reason we sold out so quickly, is I went to people that fit, that were doing 10 million, 30 million, 50 million, et cetera. Now, this weekend, you guys are gonna hear this podcast, this weekend, August 2nd through 4th, is the 100 million mastermind experience in Los Angeles. It's five years anniversary since we started the 100 million mastermind. Why is that important? I was throwing elevator nights for like a decade for free before I created this mastermind. So I don't want to make it sound like, oh yeah, I just thought I was going to throw a $100,000 mastermind. Like, look at me. Absolutely not. I put in a decade of throwing events for free called elevator nights. I was speaking at a ton of different masterminds every single month all over the country. And oftentimes I would speak for free or for discounts because I wanted to be in the room. That led me to speak at bigger events, gain more people that were in the business world. So when I finally said after nearly a decade, right, I started around 2010 throwing elevator nights, 2019, 2019 is when I started the 100 million mastermind experience. And why it only took a couple months to sell it was I had built up so much street cred and built up so many relationships over that decade leading up to it. So I don't want to talk like, oh yeah, I just put together a $100,000 event, $100,000 mastermind group. It's super simple. It's not. I put in the work throwing free events and attending other masterminds, teaching at masterminds, networking at masterminds, attending masterminds, et cetera. All this being said, and why this is important, and I'm, hopefully you're still here listening to this rant about masterminds because it's important. I think you can hear it in my voice. Masterminds changed my life. And that masterminds have helped change the world. I've utilized masterminds to raise that $56 million for companies. I've used masterminds to raise tens of millions of dollars for charity over the years. For example, just six weeks ago, myself, Andrew Corder, Eddie Wilson, they were throwing a big mastermind event for Money Is. And there were 600 people in Salt Lake City, the Grand America Hotel. And in one dinner, we raised $500,000 to build for an orphanage. Let me repeat, in one dinner, a mastermind group raised a little over half a million dollars to finish off an orphanage and have extra money to supply the orphanage for two years of food, supplies, beverages, computers, etc. That is the power of masterminds. Every single month, we keep growing these masterminds. I keep attending masterminds. Andrew and Eddie go to masterminds. They have masterminds. They speak at masterminds. We immerse ourselves into this mastermind world we're able to raise money for real estate, able to raise money for private equity deals, able to raise money for charity, and able to raise people's awareness and information in their minds to help them with their businesses, help them with their lives. That's why I speak so passionately about masterminds. That's why I tell you and when you're listening, whether you can afford to go to mastermind, can't afford it, it's the right time, it's the wrong time, it's great for you, you don't know, you're confused, go research masterminds. Learn about the different masterminds that are out there. Start your own mastermind for free with your friends or whether it's online, on Zoom, in person, whatever you like. I like to do in person at least sometimes throughout the year. You can network with them, mastermind with them throughout the year, but meet up with them regularly. So let's say you're gonna throw a mastermind and you're gonna do it with people that own restaurants. 
or people that are in real estate or people that are in cryptocurrency. You can host it for free where you do like a monthly Zoom call and you guys all Zoom, Zoom together for an hour or two and talk with each other, right, about your category. Again, real estate, fitness, food. You might be a chef. You want to network with other chefs, mastermind with other chefs. Great. Invite them all to mastermind with you on Zoom once a month. But then at least once a year, preferably multiple times a year, at least once a year, try to all fly somewhere and get together, spend a full weekend, you know, two, three days together and really talk it out. Why would chefs want to mastermind? Why would chefs want to network with each other? They're technically, technically competition, right? Absolutely not. Imagine if 20 chefs got together for a weekend and talked about, hey, this is how I do my cooking. This is the supplies that I use. I actually know the manufacturer that gets me these knives for free. If I post about it, I can hook you up with them. It doesn't hurt me at all, right? I can hook you up with them. You can post about them. I'm actually going to look good with that knife company if I now introduce 19 other chefs to them, right? Hey, guys, you know what? I actually get my all my vegetables from Cormark. I don't use Cisco, and here's why. I get them for 17 cents cheaper, and here's blah, blah, blah. 17 cents doesn't sound like a lot until you realize that you're buying a quarter million tomatoes per year. If you can save 17 cents per tomato, holy smokes, you just saved $40,000 a year. Was it worth it for you to go to the mastermind for one in piece of information or one connection about saving 17 cents on tomatoes? Yes, you're a chef that has a quarter million tomatoes every single year that you're going through and you could save 17 cents a tomato, your, your literally life just changed because guess what? You didn't just save 17 cents for that year. What about year two when you sell 400,000 tomatoes? Year three, you sell 500,000 tomatoes. Do you see the math? You go open up a bunch more restaurants and you're buying tomatoes and now you're saving 17 cents a tomato from one, in, one introduction, one piece of information that you met at a mastermind with 20 chefs for free on Zoom. You can hear my passion. This is real life. The connections you can make, the deals that you can do, the money you can save, the money you can make, the impact you can make, can all stem from just having open communication with people in your category, getting them together on Zoom, and then hopefully getting together in person, and just being open, talking it out, and making an environment where you guys are all helping each other. You're not competing, even when you're in the same industry. All right, guys, make sure to check us out on themoneymondays.com. As you know, every Monday at 4 p.m., I go live on Zoom. That's 200 bucks a month. That money goes to the wild jungle. Why do I do it? I do live Q&A. So 40 minutes of teaching and then 20 minutes of Q&A every single Monday. I have not missed it for over a year and a half now. And then I also bring on other instructors, other guests to come on there and teach and speak and answer Q&A as well. But it's really useful. It's really important. And so if you can jump on there, you know, we have hundreds and hundreds of members that interact on the moneymondays.com every Monday at four o'clock. Check us out there or refer your friends that are in the business world. The podcast, as you noticed, still a year and a half into it. We're still fighting, staying in the top of the categories, top of the charts. Right now, I'm really happy because we're number 58 in the whole planet of all podcasts that are out there. And we're in the top five for both business and entrepreneur. I think we're number two in entrepreneur uh, with Andy Frisella being number one. Obviously, Andy Frisella is the GOAT. And so he's in number one category. Number one in the category, we're number two. And then the business category, we're fighting there with, with Ramsey, uh, Dave Ramsey. Uh, obviously, that guy does a daily show. I'm never going to do a daily show. Uh, but he has these daily shows and he has his own Ramsey network now where he's getting multiple guests or multiple people that are having their own shows and he's pumping them on daily. And so he's fighting the algorithm really well. I'm never going to do that. We're going to stick to one episode a week. Sometimes we'll do a bonus episode on Fridays for you. But it, why I say all that? Why do I give you all these behind the scenes details? I'm doing this podcast without any sponsors, even though we're getting bombarded with requests of people to sponsor it. I don't want to read ads. Now, would I take a sponsor that's integrated? Sure. Wells Fargo, Cash App, Square, companies that I actually work with that I like, Hertz Rent-A-Car, like brands that I've worked with or brands that I actually use on a daily basis or a consistent basis. Sure. I would let them do a sponsorship deal for one month, one quarter, or one year because I actually believe in them. But you guys are not going to hear me read about like, hey, go to this blah, 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 dot com and talk about it for two minutes. You guys have noticed I haven't done that in a year and a half and I have no intention to do that. I would do sponsorship deals if it made sense because I thought I could give you guys value. It's brands that I actually use. When you hear me talk about brands that I invest into, it's because me and my friends have millions of dollars into them. So it's very organic for me to talk about BLK Water, Icon Meals, First Forum, all these brands, Cars and Coffee, Everbowl. These are brands that I live and breathe. And so that's why I'm always proudly talking about them. So your one request from me is recommend the podcast to your friends. Show, show it with them. 
share it on social media, repost it when you can, share it on any platform, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok, Snapchat, anywhere, it all, all helps. Because when those organic views come in, when that organic traffic comes in, and when you guys are sharing it, it helps us in the rankings. And by helping us in the rankings, you can help us keep us ad-free and you help us here at the Wild Jungle. You can always visit us at, at Wild Jungle on Instagram. We have over 200 animals here, as you guys know. The real Tarzan is in Africa right now. He's been there for a couple weeks, and I don't know if he's ever coming back because he's you know, out there with the lions and, lions and tigers and bears uh, hanging out there. You can check him out on social media, at The Real Tarzan. He typically co-hosts the podcast, but he is having a lot of fun out there, and I can't blame him. He's hanging out with the lions. And so if you guys can interact with the podcast, share it. If you can go and review it, that helps a lot. All those things, and that's why I like to be so blunt and detail-oriented and showcase every aspect of my life with you, whether it's my brand new baby or how the rankings work on social media or what I invest into, I will always be very blunt open with you guys because this podcast is working. We're staying at the top of the charts and that is all because of you, your support. So visit us at themoneymondays.com and we will see you guys next Monday.